let that wild oyster come back to life bring it back the more oysters we have the more fish that have come around is creating its own ecosystem the more you bring the more everything that comes in crabs minnows the whole works so it's all one big old working eco <laughs> one big system take one thing from it and it all goes away so this is where i was born and raised so this is a big thing for me you know to keep it preserved for my son and future and also just being out here it's pure it's clean there's nobody to tell you anything you're just talking to the crabs and <laughs> well, I'm a captain I was doing eco tours for three months out of the year in the summertime had nothing going on in the winter so a buddy of mine came up and said hey let's go get some oysters sell them to the public that's how we got into it really Oyster can filter up to 50 gallons of water a day, so the more you add, the cleaner they'll become. And This is a natural way the oysters grow with that tidal flux, so why not keep them in their natural habitat? Twice a day they're being fed by the ocean, getting pure Atlantic Ocean water, eating the phytoplankton, so they're just some of the cleanest, briniest oysters you'll ever eat. Just keeping a healthy environment out here for the future, and I love the marketing aspect as well. I love being with the chefs. I love showing the locals what a good, clean oyster is and how we can preserve the wild by doing the farming of an oyster. Let's go do some wild harvest. And oysters, they're site pacific. It's like a Pinot Noir. They're getting their flavor from where they're at. And what they're actually eating is this Spartina grass out here, the marsh grass. Because it's so pristine and clean, that's why our oysters are so clean flavored and salty. They taste like the ocean. It's a pop of ocean every time you open one. Now to be a professional oysterman, you need a good basket and a good tool. <laughs> ah, come out here, find that big wild one. And knock off that dead one. Because these are going to be for somebody to steam. They're not going on a plate for that fine dining. These little guys aren't going to reproduce for another year, you know? And this little guy right here, that big old long oyster right there at Southeast, he can reproduce millions of spawn every year. So if you just leave a couple of them, you'll keep it going. If you deplete it, it's over with. So doesn't take much. You just leave a couple of the big guys and you'll have a bunch of them for next year. Uh, you see these? These are baby oysters right here, wild ones. And when they spawn, they attach themselves. But it's a free oyster. Ready to eat oysters. It takes about 10 months to 12 months to be a market size oyster in these waters right here. So all these guys are going to do is sit here and grow, grow, grow. Make a nice pretty oyster and keep the ecosystem going. Now my favorite part is being out here, just listening to everything, watching it, and it's a peace of mind after going to war. You know? Let you know it's all nice. Thank you.